women who collab. Um, that's when you trade, you show two palettes to somebody, they pick out five colors and they show two palettes for you and you pick out one and choose the five colors. And this week I have, I was told I have Natalie Suzanne. I've already done this twice with her and she always picks out great colors for me. And, um, and then I was, um, hit up from Jennifer and she said that I'm her partner and I was like, well, that's weird, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pick out your colors if that's okay. So we'll see how that all turns out. <laughs> but mistakes happen. That's just how it goes. Um, so she picked out, I showed her two palettes. I showed her the, damn it, not the damn it, but showed her the Corpse Bride palette. And I showed her, this is from She Glam. And I showed her the Exquisite palette. And she picked, bingo, the Exquisite palette from Gourmand Girls, which I really love. I have... I think four or five of their palettes. I really like the Etheral one, but I don't have it yet. So she made it easy for me. She picked this one and then this bottom row. I want to use this as the pop of color. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start off with all the others first. And I'm going to do this one last. And I'll do my lips and my blush at the end because it all depends on how the look turns out you know, on how I want to do the yeah. lips. Most of my looks, no matter what I do, I always use this uh, very, very pale tan color. I be just to, cause it helps me blend better. It's just uh, something I have a niche for lately. You know, things change when you do makeup. A lot of your routines change depending on, you know, how much you play with stuff, then you realize, okay, I can't, I can't do without this. So there's that. And now for the first color is, I'm so excited. I don't even know what to use. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to take the brown, which is called Dead Planet. And I'm going to use that same big brush that I just used for that other stuff. And I'm going to just tap it right there. Oh, I hope this works because my eyes, uh, and I'm just going to carry it forward like that like that and then at the top here I'll just wing it out right there that works that actually worked okay then I'm going to do the same thing with the other now I'm just cutting my crease with like a, a foundation and a really tiny brush like this because I have hooded eyes and eyes that don't want to cooperate because you know it's not as firm as it used to be and um, it helps me a lot. So I basically cut it until the last little outer V. So much easier with this than the regular brush. And then I just kind of paint it on there. For the next color, now that we get the crease cut, <sighs> trying to go through my brushes lately. And I just keep finding more and more new ones that I haven't used in a while. But I'm going to, I'm just gonna take this one. And I'm going to use the Galactic, which is like a dark gray. I'm going to smudge it on that outer V, but not out there. I'm just going to put it right there and I'm going to pack that bitch on. I'm not, I'm barely going to move her. She's going to pretty much stay in that one spot. I'm going to pack on the yellow, which is called Sunshine. And I hope she's a really good yellow. She's kind of a mustardy yellow, let me show you. There is some kickback, but only because I really load it when I put it on there. I'm going to put her right there. Which, she's okay. She is, you know, the typical mustardy yellow. She's, she's not as vibrant as I really wish she was. But I'd probably have to just get a different palette for that. I do like Gourmand Girls formulas, otherwise I wouldn't have already had bought in five palettes. Um, and it's not because she's uh, popular or anything, which she is, um, but she does very good formulas and uh, she's very consistent. It doesn't slack. Like some people you'll buy their formulas and before you know it, they like slack, but this one's really good. She stays on her game. And she's a very nice person too. So we're gonna go into 
Uh, the other one, Milky Way, which is the shimmer. Actually, I'm not sure if I should be using this brush, but we're going to try it. If not, I'm just going to go to the other brush. Oh, this one's really nice. I really like this one. So there's a nice big difference. You see the difference there? Yeah, I like this one. Oh, yeah, she makes a nice little pop. And so I'm going to just kind of put her in my inner corner as well. And I'm going to go on for the blue, which I want to try a little something different. That little concealer brush that I just had, I'm going to rub it in the blue. Because this is such a beautiful, I am, everybody knows that I love blues. And this is a really gorgeous blue. I only know one other blue that is just as gorgeous as that. And that is the Wednesday Cosmetics Blood Moon Palette has a blue. And I bought the palette just for that. Uh, okay, I might need a little few applications here to get this to pop the way I want it to. So much easier to do them straight lines when you've got one of these small brushes, that's for sure. I'm only going to do it at the front though, I'm not going to carry it over the whole entire eye. I need room for it. I want to put it on the bottom lash line. I might need to wet it a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so when it gets thick like this and it's not like this, it's time to wet it with a little bit more concealer. Well, kind of like, um, well, not wet it, but, you know, get it to that the brush sticks together. Just kind of like this and you roll it in there get it nice and coated so that it's like that and just lightly do that it'll pick it up a lot better well I can't fix that one spot but I'm not worried about it just continue on with the rest Try to fix that as good as I can. Okay, so now I'm going to do the under eye, the bottom, which it, it doesn't have to be perfect. I kind of want it a little out there because I want my pop of color. This calls for a definite black eyeliner. I'm going to finish this up and then I'll hit y'all right back up. I'll hit y'all back up with the final. Here we are. Oh, I really like doing some siren eyes, but I'm going to tell you something. Mm. You do a siren eye and you get the first eye booger and then <laughs> and there it goes. It's gone. So you better carry some mascara with you. But anyways, um, I did add some corner lashes. Um, and a big bold, I didn't do a wing, but I did a big bold line. And uh, yeah, I like the color she picked for me. Y'all go check out and see what I picked for her. I picked out colors I thought would be really cute on her and then pick up the colors I picked for Jen. And um, uh, <laughs> go follow the link in the, in the list, uh, the list down below. It's not a playlist, but it's a list. And um, I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks so much.